He doesn't even register in the top five all centers for me. Okay, excavate the fan. Who is Shaquille O'Neal to the Lakers? To the Lakers? Just the story of past lore. You know, we we that's it. He's he's a Lake. He's a former Laker. He's, yeah, he's not a Laker legend in my book. Yeah, he's a former Laker. Definitely a former Laker. He's a former Laker. We had good times while he was here, but a Laker legend, I'm not putting him in that category. Because it takes more than winning titles to be a Laker legend. You have to do it with class. Yeah, there's definitely a character thing when it comes to being a Laker le- legend because all Laker legends have character. And, you know, it, it really does stem from him disrespecting the household, I believe. I believe that may keep him from getting his jersey retired in a timely manner. Um, you know, things to that sort with the Lakers. What, what's your take on that? Well, my take on that is clear. Lakers, you know, Laker fans, we always think, like, who would be the next Laker up there? I mean, to be honest with you, I'd rather see Michael Cooper's number 21 go up there. I want to see Byron Scott's number four go up there. I mean, there's a lot of players that I'd rather see up there before Shaq. And you know what? I'm not going to lose any sleep if he doesn't go up there at all. As I said, as we just spoke about, a Laker legend is more than just putting rings on the finger. It's, a, it's like you said, it's character, it's class, it's the, way you, it's the way you hold your stuff and how you hold up being a Laker legend. And he just hasn't done it. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of lot of issues with that. And a lot of tangibles that go with being a Laker and he, that he doesn't possess. Now he's, he's rocking, it's, it's like siding with evil wearing the green Celtic jersey, you know, in L.A., you know, so he's transformed, he's morphed into a truly evil being, a sinner for the Celtics. You know what? I want to beat Shaquille O'Neal. No, he wants to beat you. That's his motivation, to beat the Lakers. Do you think this isn't the biggest game of the year to him? Come on. Shaq is going to pull out all the stops. The, The Celtics hate the Lakers. We don't like them either. No, we don't. It's war. Tomorrow, 12 feet, Staples Center, downtown Los Angeles, all eyes on Los Angeles. And character counts in this league. You know, character counts. Like Coach John Wooden said, character counts. Okay, so he needs to apologize then. Yes, he does. He has an apology to the Laker fans, the Laker family, the ownership of the Lakers, and it all goes hand in hand. This is a family-run business. Dr. Buck is known as being the best owner in professional sports. He's the reason why he got those titles in Los Angeles. Let's not let's not uh, fake the funk here. If Kobe wasn't there, Shaq wouldn't have those rings. Shaq's feelings got hurt. He's a 38-year-old baby who's got every everything he's ever had was given to him. It's like, listen, man. We were tired of hearing your rap, you know? <laughs> Are you talking about the time he called out the great Dr. Jerry Buss on the court and demanded money? Yeah. 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 It's like, we've already paid you well over a mil- hundred million dollars for your services, resurrected your career in Los Angeles, and it's an absolute honor to be a Laker and have the opportunity to be a Laker legend. He had the opportunity to go up on the wall and this isn't like the Celtics where, you know, they've got, what do they got, like 30, 40, you know, you can, if, if you can walk and chew gum, you don't put your jersey up there. The great Celtics, they got every single person they ever played up there. Yeah, let's just, here's Joe the custodian, let's put his number up there. No, there's Worthy, uh, there's Kareem, there's Mastic, there's Worthy, the Gale Goodrich, there's West. There are true basketball legends. I mean, believe me, Celtics have their legends too, but when you go up on the on the Laker wall, that's a select few. Oh, yeah. It's definitely an exclusive group. Yeah. You know, I, w- I want the Lakers to give number 34 to the next bomb rookie they dropped in the third round. It's a good idea. Why isn't nobody rocking number 34? Who's number 34? Bynum needs to change his number. Yes. Yes. 
Word up. And there you heard it from Coach Duke. Going to be at the game tomorrow representing. Try to get some inside scoop. We're going to holler at you tomorrow from the game. Maybe get an exclusive from the game and get what it looked like. Thanks for joining us today on the OG Sports Show, Coach. Hey, no problem, big OG. All right, man. Thank you.